name is Charles Lott Miller. I'm the great grandson of John Henry Ward Smith and Ada Maloney Smith. I have created this documentary of the life and times of John Henry, whom we call Papa, and his wife Ada, whom we call Mama. First of all, to present evidence which will help legitimize the surname of Papa. Secondly, I hope to present facts about his mother, his real father, and his stepfather, which will help bring closure to why Papa lived his life the way he did. This documentary hoped to bring to life the desperate struggles and triumphs of John, torn between two lives, that of a man with both black and white heritage. It is said in an interview with Esri Futz Miller that John was ridiculed by blacks as a child because of his skin color, but raised by most of the whites, especially the Ward and Strippen family in Prescott, Arkansas by being invited to play dominoes uptown with various white men. Theodore A. Johnson Shakir, also known as Ted Johnson, the husband of the late great Lucy A. Johnson Shakir, will support these facts in an interview later in this presentation. Pictures of John, his wife, Ada, his children, and all of us are presented to show his legacy and love he had for his family. We are all part of that legacy. Paul 
Carl's surname is the result of the many, many family stories told to many of us while we were growing up. We were told that Papa's father was a white man named David C. Ward. Information will also be presented which shows the identity of the father and stepmother of Mama. Bible records list Mama's father as David Maloney and her mother as Delilah Maloney, her maiden name unknown at the present time. Her stepmother was Alice Gary Maloney. Our grandparents went through many experiences during their lifetime to make things better for us. And we'd like to share those experiences with you. All of you who are blood relative to this family are the result of those experiences. Watch carefully. You may see yourselves along the way. No, no, this is just my, uh, this is uh, my mother, Miss Esri Futch Miller. And uh, today's date is again July, 20, uh, July 16, 1996. And I'm in an interview with her in Huntsville, Alabama. It's a wonderful day. Very bright, sunshiny day. And she's going to explain to her son, me, uh, her version of, of the legend of John Smith, John Henry Ward Smith, my great-great-grandfather. I want her to tell me, tell me what you know, Mother, uh, what you remember of when you were small coming up about uh, Grandpa John being a ward. I mean, how, how do you know that, that that's true and, you know, well, what do you remember about all that? As far back as I can remember, being an old girl mm -hmm. was told, I don't know just which one of them told me, but I was told that mm -hmm. they came from Louisiana. They meaning who? My mother my father. My, my grandmother, Ada. Ada Smith. Ada Maloney Smith? Maloney Smith. Okay. And, and John. John Henry? John Henry Smith. Uh-huh. But his dad is a ward, uh, right? Yeah, his dad well, was told was a ward because he was down there uh, living down there with mm -hmm. his father. Uh, mm -hmm. In the neighborhood with the father where they could be seen, you know. Mm -hmm. So often then. Something come up between him and the white man. Got into some kind of trouble, but anyway, he knew That's him. down in Louisiana? Down in Louisiana. Okay. I don't know I, well, he killed the man, I think so. But anyway, they was in trouble. Uh -huh. And the man just split his forehead up and laid that You mean Grandpa? Okay. Put a silver plate in there. I remember that silver plate. Silver plate in uh -huh. his head. Mm -hmm. In Grandpa John's, John's head, right? Yeah. So. Okay. We was told then that uh, after that, I don't know how long it was, you know, before he got his head all pitched up, but anyway, uh -huh. he was to leave there. And they left that, uh, they told us he left that walking. And Mama loved him so she walked all the way here. Now how she did that with those mm -hmm. kids, I don't know. Nothing in all come out and down there. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, you know, I don't remember when Papa come out and down there because I wasn't born down there. Was Papa locked with him down there? Down there, coming down there too. Him and his mother. Mm-hmm. And uh, see, Cause they're pretty Ada was eight. My grandma was that. My mom was her mother, and she was down there with her mother. Oh, you mean Josie? Josie. Okay, grandma, my grandmother. Uh huh. Uh, she, my grandma Ada. Mm-hmm. And my mama Josie was down there. Okay. And so Josie must have been. Must have been with Mama because she was 14 years old when she married Papa. And I think mm -hmm. uh, Grandpa John was trying to keep him from marrying mm -hmm. her because she was too young. Mm -hmm. But he was a good cook and everything. He knew how to take care of her and he loved him. Who was a good cook? Papa? Papa was chef. Okay. I think I have some records with him yeah. being a cook. Chef, he cooked there in, I think, in a hotel in Preston. In 1920, John and Ada moved to Prescott, Arkansas, Nevada County, Ward 4 of the city. Our relative Peggy Roston said they moved from Louisiana to Arkansas for two reasons. John was involved in a duel 
with a white man to defend the honor of his wife and had to flee with his family and Prescott was given a charter to construct a railroad and that meant steady work. Living in Prescott became the final destination and became the foundation upon which our family now stands. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So, so, um, as far as you remember, Papa, Daddy, was this white man named John. And had him to leave. And had him to leave. Yes, yeah, so he wouldn't get killed. Now, I, he I heard a story where uh, Papa's daddy was either a sheriff or some kind of head of state. He might had some type of job. Because this, this ward, yeah, the ward man is in Prescott was... Uh, uh, he head of state. He he was uh, a, uh, not a judge, but uh, he was the mayor. Sheriff. Mayor of that mayor city. Of sheriff won because he was the mayor of Prescott. What uh, we uh, Curtis D. Ward, Curtis David Ward. We all get there. Okay. Well, my hands up and work. Okay. Just just tell me the surname, your surname, and and, not, and then I'll go individually. Okay. Eric. Okay. Anna. Okay. Well, I'm Margaret. Okay. Ivy. Okay. And I'm George Ivy. And we're Ward. I forgot to say that. Okay. Ward. From from Prescott. From Prescott. Arkansas. Okay. This is. She's Margaret Ward Ivy. Margaret Ward Ivy. Okay, that's your the lighting. Okay, and you you are. I'm, I'm Everett Ward. Everett Ward. Okay, and. Annis. And Annis Ward. Your wife. Okay. We're the ones that had the grocery store all those years. Oh, okay. Yeah, that you didn't have to pay for your grocery. <laughs> 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 yeah. And I and I still don't owe him anything. <laughs> I don't know what's the relationship, but now tell me about the stripling. How do they fit in here, and what? I don't know. The stripling had a store up there, and the name of the store was Stripling. And that's where, you know, when he would leave home, he'd be uh -huh. going home all the way home all day. All day. I remember he'd be that. Up there stripping them, playing dominoes with those white men, whoever. And they were white, right? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, they were white, and so we would have to. Uh, by the time for him to come home, we had to leave from old grandma. That's right. Because he had an attitude of uh, being kind of mean, and I figured it out later on after uh -huh. I got grown, that here was a child that was twixt in between. He was a mixed child. Mm -hmm. And what you call him, mulatto? Mulatto. And then uh -huh. he had these two black sisters, mm -hmm. jet black. In color, and, okay. And he, he just didn't he, know where he, he fit in at. Uh -huh. And it made, I think it made him kind of bitter. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't with his daddy. That was enough to make him bitter. And he come along and got mm -hmm. his mama married this Wash. Mm -hmm. And uh, not mm -hmm. Wash Smith. Wash Smith, right. And uh, that was another idea there. As a stepfather, child and a stepfather mm -hmm. all the time is not so good. And being real light-skinned himself. And light. And that's right, being light skinned and silk mm -hmm. hair. He didn't know when. I imagine the other kids kind of treated him kind of rough and made mm -hmm. him awful mean. And so, therefore, he kind of treated us mean. Treated us. He was mean. And when you say us, you're talking about yourself and me, because I remember being that too. You and uh, you know. Gert and, uh -huh. and uh, Lucy May. Now, when he calmed down, uh, I used to go to church with the regular with him. You know, I started church playing piano about 13 years mm -hmm. old. And he, me and him was the only one in the family that really went to Blount Chapel Church. Oh, yeah? And uh -huh, until later on, I all started. But anyway, we'd get up and go to church, me and him together. And that, that's done him so much good until finally, and when Marquita was born, that's the only time that we began to be accepted in the house. Mm -hmm. You know, and he didn't live too long after that. But Marquita was the first baby that I know he ever bought a thing about. Uh-huh. And so he was, mm -hmm. you know, he bought that little training pop for her. And that seemed to have been his change. But he did change, didn't he? He was mean to Mama. Ramoeda. Ramoeda. 
Oh, he was? Yeah, he would, he would be mean to Roy. He would fight Roy. And uh, Roy had these two boys, John and Hawk. And he he told them, when, when he jumped on her out there to hide her, John, I think, wanted to take it up. John wanted to beat him up, just kill him. Mm -hmm. And she wouldn't let him do it. She said, boys, y'all won't have to leave. Y'all just leave for me. One of y'all get killed, you and your mm -hmm. husband, one. And they left. That's Uncle Arthur and That's John. Uncle John, yeah. Uncle John and Uncle Arthur, mm -hmm. they left. Mm -hmm. And they stayed away. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And they went on and stayed away because he was just that mean. Now, okay, I, I was with you when he died. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. It, I can see it right now. He had on a white T-shirt, mm -hmm. an uh, undershirt that had the arms out, and I see him sitting in this chair, and I see you standing up there, and I see myself standing up there. I see you giving him a wash off right. up top, mm -hmm. the wash off, and I'm standing right by you, and he. Well, what happened then? After he got his shirt, I'd done the washing off for him, and you know.